Okay, year nine. Last time I said I was gonna go through this uh, tutorial here, um, and I was gonna do it from scratch. So what it gives you is it says this, and that's what it comes up with, but it asks you to put it in the right order. But I'm actually gonna go through and build it from scratch so you can kind of see how it should be how it should be done. So I'm gonna delete all of this. I'm just gonna go into the text version of it. Uh, I'll do it in blocks, but I'll just delete it in there. Oops, uh, show blocks. That didn't work, show text. Yep, show blocks. Oh, weird, they're still all there. Let's get rid of them, okay. So if I look at this image here, the first thing I wanna do is I want to set the background color. And it's gonna be, pink, but I think it actually said it was salmon. So if I reset, I can run this at any time to see what it was. Um, so that'll do, I'm not sure what the color actually was, but that's that's fine. Um, next, behind that, I'm gonna draw this little snake dude. So it's actually already got a sprite associated with it called snake, I'm not gonna delete that. So I'm gonna make that variable first. Variable, um, I'll call it sprite for now equals, well, it's already got that there, so I'll, I'll use that one instead. Variable sprite equals create sprite 200, 200, so that'll create a sprite in the center. So if I run that now, um, I haven't drawn the sprite, so I will draw the sprite and you'll see, there we go, that's drawn in the middle. But I actually have to do some stuff before I draw the sprite. So if I go to sprites, I'm gonna set this to be snake, so that's sprite.animation. I'm gonna change this guy, I'm gonna call him prisoner, and then I'll change it here. So prisoner equals create a sprite, and then the prisoner.setAnimation is the snake. So I run this, and I haven't drawn it yet, so I'm gonna draw that, uh, I'll draw it now, may as well draw it now. So I draw that sprite there. Okay, so we've got the snake there. Now I've gotta draw some rectangles on the screen. So first thing I need to set the color of it before I draw them, because if I don't set the color, it will uh, not work. It'll draw them in pink. Um, so fill to gray, and then drawing a rectangle. Now I'm not 100% sure where these rectangles are gonna go, so I'm gonna guess the first one's gonna be, um, top left corner is gonna be 50. 50 and then zero. And then the width will be, we'll say 10. And the height is gonna be 400. So it's gonna go all the way down. So if I run that now, I get one rectangle just there. The next rectangle is gonna be, um, let's think, where do we want it? We want it about here. So that's gonna be 150, 150, zero. All these other numbers will be the same. 10 wide, 400 down. Um, now the numbers that you've got might be different. So this one here, it's gonna be 250. As long as it looks similar, because you, you don't have to write all this, I'm just going through the process of how it works and the ordering. So you can think about, oh, I've got a big sprite in the middle there. Why do, oh, that's because I've drawn a rectangle that big. So 350, 350, zero, 10, and 400. So that draws that over there. If I get rid of the grid, it's looking like that. Now, I also wanna turn off these strokes around the outside of the shape, so I can put no stroke there. And that gives me those. Now, I could make the thickness of these a little bit thicker. 20, 20, uh, 20, and 20. Uh, that looks a bit more like it. It doesn't have to be exact. And then finally, I'm going to set um, the text size to be, well, we'll play with that in a sec, and I'm gonna draw this here. Greetings, and we're gonna draw it. Let's see where it gets drawn at the moment. It's all the way up in the top corner there. So I'll set the text size here to about 50. It's maybe a bit too big, we'll go 40. And it's all the way up there. So I need to set it somewhere else. So I'm gonna set it to about, um, is there an option to, oh, what do these other things mean? Wish I knew what they meant. It's probably like center and something, but uh, I don't actually have any 
let's see what it says here. See examples. Um, hello world 1010. Okay, no, that's that's fine. I'm not. I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to guess where I want it. So 40, and we want it about 180 down. That looks pretty good there. Maybe less down. Maybe only 100 down. But I need to change that color. So once again, I go fill color here. I'm going to change it to black, and then that's what we've got. So by Thinking about, in this case, the order of things or the sequence of things, that's how I'm able to build this image up. Now, you already had all the code there, so you just need to think about the sequence of things and whether, you know, draw sprites needs to be at the top or what happens if I put it at the bottom? If I put it at the bottom, it draws the sprite on top of everything else. So if I put it here, though, what happens? It just draws a square because it hasn't actually set the animation of the sprite up and it draws the sprite before it does that. So you need to think about the sequence of what is happening. Okay, if you're declaring a variable, you can't then use that variable before. If I try to run this, it will give me an error down the bottom here. Cannot read set animation of undefined. Now that's a bit of a Java, Java error, but what it means is prisoner is undefined because we haven't actually said what prisoner is until the line afterwards. So we swap those around. We declare the things first and then we can use them. And so it's all about sequencing in this one here. Now the next one, if I go back to um, view unit overview, oops. If I go back to here, so we talked a little bit about sprites, um, the draw loop. Okay, you can watch these videos on here. And this one is visible, yep. So shapes in the draw loop, I might just jump into uh, number nine here, I'll have a look and see which ones, uh, what we've got. Um, I might just go back to the first one there. Okay, so here's an example of the draw loop at work. So do this, run the code and see how it works. And you can just think about this one because you won't have someone there to discuss with it. But discuss with your partner whether this looks like the flip book you saw in the video, why or why not. Now I haven't watched the video, um, but I can tell you that it probably doesn't. I'm guessing that it doesn't look exactly like it. Um, so what is happening here though? It sets it up with no stroke and it sets the fill to C green and then it does this function draw. Now this must be something something that it knows what to do. Um, so the draw function, it must every frame like 30 times a second or whatever, it's going to do the stuff in here. In this case it's drawing a circle or an ellipse with a random position. Random X position, random Y position. It just keeps doing that really fast. So that's what that draw loop is. So anything you want to draw on the screen, you can put in this loop and it will continue to draw. Uh, now, what would happen, uh, it doesn't look like there's a clear function here. So if I go forward a little bit, um, what have we got? Now it's your turn to do some work with the draw loop. Remember that the code inside the draw loop is run by GameLab over and over again. Add code to this program so your drawing has orange circles being drawn too. Okay, so that's what we've got there. Well, that's what we want to have. Currently, this is what we have. It only draws the green circles. So there's a pretty easy way to do this. And it is just by going like this, fill color yellow. And then ellipse, random number here, random number there. We can close those bits because we don't need them. Um, and we want to put that at 0, 0,400. So essentially we're just emulating what we saw above, except we're changing it to a different color. And now I get that pattern as well. Okay, I put yellow, but you can put orange in there. I wonder what happens if I change it in the middle of it. No. Nope. Okay, so that's, that's more what you want. Uh, I'm not going to do all of these, so I'm just going to jump forward to number seven. What happens with sprites in the draw loop? So remember everything that goes in this draw loop, this bit here, and you can have you can have multiple ones of them, although there's not much point to doing that unless you just want to separate things out. Actually, I'm not sure what would happen if we have multiple ones. Let's see. Yep, 
Okay, so if you can't have multiple ones, if you have multiple ones, it will only do the one at the bottom. And so I'll just quickly demonstrate that by grabbing the draw sprites and put it in here. And you see it draws the sprite, but it doesn't do these other things there. That's because it will only do the one at the bottom. So you can't have multiple functions with the same name. I should have known that. And this is what we've got. So the world dot frame rate equals 10. So you can change that up or down. It'll get faster or slower. We're creating a sprite, create sprite, and then the sprite setting that to the green alien. Then we're gonna draw some stuff. So we're gonna draw a background, which is orange. We're gonna draw the alien sprite. We're gonna set the sprite X to a random number. And you'll see here that it just kind of shuffles along the screen. Now what's happening here is every time we draw the background, it kind of clears it out. If I get rid of that, you'll see that it draws this dude and he kind of stays on that background there. But when we draw the background, it's like clearing, clearing the screen out. Okay, so it actually does function as a clear. So it sets up the sprites and then it continually draws this. And so we can actually make animations with this. Now you guys do need to go through and and do this stuff. Actually, I'm not going to I'm not going to explain this one here because it kind of builds upon the previous ones a bit. Take some time to understand those. And uh, tomorrow I'll have another video explaining. If there's anything specific that you don't understand, then send me a link to the you know which which level. So like if you look up here, um, this is lesson seven, the draw loop. Just send me a link or not a link, but like. I'm having trouble with lesson seven, the draw loop, I don't understand it. And I can make a video explaining that in a little bit more. So if there's ones that you really don't understand, um, send me, a, send me a, an email and I will make a video for you covering those things.